State lawmaker says it's time to dissolve the Texas Juvenile Justice Department. He wants to replace what he calls child prisons with a system of rehabilitation. Fox 4, Sean Rabb joining us now with the story. Sean. Yeah, you know, since 2007, many, in fact, most of the state's juvenile detention facilities have closed, themselves locked in scandal. Now, this Austin representative, uh, James Tallarico, has filed legislation that would seek to close the remaining five detention facilities in Texas in the next few years. For more than a century, kids in Texas child prisons have been beaten, raped, and even murdered behind bars. Flanked by those who've been in Texas juvenile detention facilities and Houston State Rep Jarvis Johnson, Austin Representative James Tallarico filed a bill that would close Texas' remaining juvenile justice detention facilities. Last year, news broke that our child prisons in Texas are on the brink of collapse. Kids are being locked in windowless cells for 23 hours a day and urinating in empty water bottles. Eight juvenile facilities closed since 2007. HB 4356, Tallarico's proposal, calls for the five remaining, which are being investigated by the Justice Department for mistreatment and abuse, to close by 2030. The facilities currently house some 600 kids with a $300 million budget. Tallarico sees a different type of youth justice. A new office of youth safety and rehabilitation. And that office would use the savings from closing child prisons to fund a system that actually rehabilitates kids closer to home. Best practices today would agree with closing these facilities. Professor Camille Gibson is executive director of the Texas Juvenile Crime Prevention Center at Prairie View A&M University. We know that the best thing is to treat young people close to home or at home. There are some people who will need more attention and a facility that's treatment focused would indeed be the way to go. Either I won't be naive, I won't lie. I know what I was doing and I know what I was doing was wrong. But Locked up at 16, Jannard Brown, now 23, says what is happening inside state facilities has to change. You're either going to give that child a chance or you're going to have to give them a consequence. You're either going to put them in position to succeed or one day you have to penalize them. Which one would you rather do? So the model that Tallarico wants to move to is what's called Youth Safety and Rehabilitation Centers. It's a model that's being used in Kansas and Utah presently. It's also a model that California is looking at as they look to close uh, their juvenile justice department as well.